today we are discussing a topic that is types of data transmission and this is also called the types of data communication actually data communication or data transmission meaning is whenever we are going to send some data from the source to destination there are some techniques and the types and these are the two types the first one we called it as the analog and the second one which we say it as the digital so if we talk about the analog signal analog signals are in the form of sine waves these are the continuous signal but if i talk about the digital then digital comes into the zero and one only just like this is one and then it becomes zero and afterward it again become the one so we can say that this is vary from zero and one only just like it is representing one it is representing zero it is representing one there is nothing in between just like we cannot say that there is some point value there is no 0.1 0.2 0.3 all are missing here but if i talk about the analog signal again if i say it is vary from 0 and 1 say example then here there is another that is 0.1 0.2 and so on multiple are there till 1 okay 0.9 so multiple values are there between 0 and 1 and there is only the 0 and 1 values so these are the difference between analog and digital so we can easily conclude that analog signals can have the values in the floating point but the digital cannot have it only have the 0 and 1 values so we can say the analog signals are into the wave form we represent the wave many time so they are into the wave form in the form of wave but talking about the digital signal they are the on and off electric state on and off electric state means they represent one for the on and represent zero for the off whenever we are talking about any digital circuit over there we are having on and off means you are switching on the fan or switching off the fan or switching on the ic switching off the ic so for that there is a signal one for the on and zero for the off we know that they are not stopping anywhere just like the analog signals are not stopping so we can say that these are the continuous signal continuous means they are moving towards the end but here we are having the full transition that's why they are the discrete digital are the discrete signal and some people also say that these are the distinct distinct means these are the distinct values two different values just like if i say between 0 and 1 there is a simple transition either 0 or 1 in the digital but in the analog there is a continuous transition 0.1 2 3 0.4 0.5 and so on so that is very slow slow transition but here is a direct transition that's why discrete and they are represented by sine wave so the signal looks like the sine wave just like if we have gone through the mathematics subject there are many waves which are present which we use sine and cos right so sine wave looks like this it is also the part of physics now talking about the digital signal there is no simple way to represent value like 0.25 if you want to represent 0.25 there is no option either you will make it to 0 or the 1 so point floating point values are not the part of digital signal well the good thing about the analog is that analog device analog device means the devices which are using the analog so analog device monitor monitor means they are going to measure some conditions 
like means they are going to monitor the conditions like moment moment means how we are going to move something means what is the moment so example if i am running right what is my continuous movement temperature so example the temperature we are having in the digital form we are having the temperature like 13 degree 14 degree but in between there are multiple temperature 13.1 13.2 13.3 4.5 .3, so all these temperature are measured in the analog form so temperature is the quality of the analog just like in the thermometer we are having the temperature many times 98.7 98.8 right so this is the analog signals we know but yeah we are representing in the form of some digits that is a different issue because today we are having a digital thermometer but i am talking about the analog thermometer so then afterward sound sound cannot be into the form of zero and one sound always can be in variants like just like from slow sound medium high very high so it is not zero and one so sound is there so this is the analog signal but if i talk about the digital now in the digital there is one more thing which is very important we are going to convert all the things to the digital form so let's suppose that the music information voice because we know that music and voice are the analog so how to take this uh, into digital so music voice and video video also contain the audio so video converted to binary binary means 0 and 1 so binary digital form can be electronically manipulated now the meaning is that whenever we are converting some of the analog signals like music information voice video because these are the analog to the binary digital binary digital means zero and one digital form that we can manipulate them electronically with the help of electronic devices we can change them and also we can preserve preserved means we can save them and regenerated means when they are converted to digital form it is very easy for us to electronically make the manipulation preserve them means save them somewhere or again generate them so that is the main quality of the digital so what we have learned from the analog and digital the thing is that analog is the wave form in the continuous waves or the sine wave and temperature pressure sound movement these are the analog signals digital are 0 and 1 discrete but there we don't have the 0.25 any any representation is not there like but once we are converting analog to digital form then it is very easy for us to electronically work with them now we are going to take some examples of the analog signal so if we talk about the example in the first example which we are having is the speech speech means if i am talking to you in the continuous manner that is speech it is an analog signal voice on telephone on telephone we used to talk with each other right that is again the example of analog or even the analog watch many times we are having the watch on the wall clock which is analog where the dial is moving right it is not like digital watch so that dial is moving right and this is becoming between 12 then 12.1 2 3 4 then it becomes 1 1.2 4 then 2 right so this way it is moving so that is a analog watch or now we're taking the example of the digital so the example of digital is digital watch we know that today is the trend of digital watch and we are having the accurate results right so there we are having the direct conversion there is no the floating values in between there is a direct value coming right there is no digits or point value so that is a digital watch which we are having now we are going towards the advantages of the analog signal so now we are learning the advantages of 
analog communication. If I talk about the very first advantage or if I say it is the normal one advantage of the analog signal and that is that it is having the capability to capture subtle nature. Subtle nature meaning something is continuous. If anything is moving constantly. So that nature is called the subtle nature. So subtle means which is going to continuously vary. So if anything is continuously vary like our temperature, pressure, sound that can be measured very easily with the help of the analog signal. That is the only advantage of analog signal. Now if I talk about the disadvantage of analog signal. So disadvantage is the first disadvantage of the analog signal is that they lose the energy after certain distance means if you are sending the analog signal from one station to another station then after some time at some distance it will lose the energy and we know that in the networking we are having a device that is the repeater that is used to amplify the energy so there we require the repeater one more disadvantage of the analog signal is that they are having the noise so they are noise prone means they can capture the noise very easily if they are moving from one location to another then if some noise is coming in between so noise is merged with the analog signal so that is a problem and very disadvantage of the analog signal which we are having is the it can't be copied perfectly let us suppose that you are having some kind of the data in the analog signal and if you want to copy not possible if you are assuming that there is some kind of movie in the analog form you cannot copy them perfectly there will be the distortion 100 percent so that's why for the copy purpose, we cannot use analogs. Example, I'm speaking what, what it is there. If, if I'm copying directly, the same voice will not coming at your system. So what is going on? Because I'm speaking and you're understanding, still my voice is the analog and you're understanding the same voice. Because my voice is first converted to digital, then it is sending to you then again the speakers are coming back to the analog so that is the communication going on the communication through the network is the digital because if i send the analog signals directly if i'm sending my voice directly it will not reach you because the intensity which i am talking or the amplification everything will be distorted so that is the problem so that's why we can say that there is distortion in audio and video today these things are very very much popular even we are using the whatsapp facebook anything audio and the video these are main popular because video is also the combination of various frames right if I, if a video is moving there are various frames behind that which are running right so this is again the analog and my voice is again analog so these will be distorted so now coming to the advantages of the digital communication so talking about the advantages of digital there are various advantages of the digital communication the first thing which we are having is the fast communication if I compare with the analog signal, then the digital is very fast. Sending the data is very fast. You, you know by yourself because there are two things, 0 and 1. And in the analog, there are many things, 0 0.1, 2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and so on. So sending 0 and 1 is very fast. So it is a fast communication. Then afterward, there is perfect copy means if you are going to copy the digital signal there is perfect copy and it's not only the three two times or hundred times copy no millionth copy is having the same as original 
let us suppose that you are having a movie you have given to your friend friend given to another friend again another 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 million times movie is given same will be there as it was the first so that's why the digital is very much popular also it is very high speed so for the high speed communication we use the digital signal and also it is of high quality just like in the audio you have seen that many time the icon is there dolby digital because the dolby is giving the sound of digital quality high quality so this is how the digital signals are there and they are giving you the complete 1080 even today we are having the ultra definition pixels right so oled tv so what they are they are working on the digital form that's why they are giving you that much quality right so that is the digital communication more advantages of digital are there they are less prone to error well it is obviously to understand if i am sending a zero and one two things i am sending less error will come but if i am sending many things 0.1 2 3 0.4 5 6 so on so that is for sure the error right so digital is having the less prone to error again they are very much accurate and reliable we can rely on the digital but we cannot rely on the analog so these are the various advantages of the digital communication now talking about the disadvantages so disadvantages of digital communication the first disadvantage or we can say the only disadvantage of digital communication is that they use absorber and regenerator absorbers and the regenerator me something we are understanding is something is going to absorb the digital signal and regenerate them why why not use the repeater because repeater amplify the signal and in the digital there is only zero and one what we can amplify we cannot make one as two no so digital signals can't be amplified so first of all we must know that digital signals can't be amplified and one more thing if i am sending the signals at the long distance obviously signals get distorted slightly so first thing we are learning is that digital signals sent at the long distance distorted slightly and for that we don't use the repeater because we cannot amplify 1 to 2 so there we use something device which is going to absorb the complete signal and regenerate them at the same so absorber and regenerators are required so absorber and regenerator are required for long distance if i am sending the signal at the long distance then only it is required and why they are required because digital signal can't be amplified so require a device which is going to absorb them completely absorbers and regenerate them completely so that is the thing there is the only disadvantage of the digital communication so what we have gone through in the advantages and disadvantages of analog advantages is that it is going to capture the subtle nature means continuous things we can easily capture disadvantage is that after some distance it's lose the energy it require a repeater they become the noise then we cannot copy them distortion also come in audio and video so the solution is the digital signal in which we are having advantages like fast communication high speed high quality less prone to error accurate and reliable so all these things are there even we are copying millionth of the times the copy is same so all the movies which you are having at your home or which is on your tata sky or maybe any other device they all are into the digital form otherwise the quality will not be the high definition or full hd which we are having right 
and the disadvantages are the they need the absorber and the regenerator so that is all about the types of data transmission and communication